Hello there. On the A Modular forums, we've been talking about synthesizing bass sounds, and I wanted to just give you a quick demo of what I like to do to give them more bottom end. For starters, let's just take the square wave of a VCO, patch that into a mixer, and from there into the WASP filter. The low pass out of the WASP is then going to a VCA, and from there into the sound recorder. Of course, the VCA is being controlled by an envelope with a longish decay time. You can see that on the LED here. And then the filter, the WASP filter cutoff frequency is controlled with a second envelope with a shorter decay time. It sounds like this. All right, so to add even more bottom end to that sound, you know, low frequencies, we can use a triangle wave and mix that into our current signal path. Now I'm just using the triangle wave from the same VCO and I amplified it with the two signal amp module which is out of frame up here. I've turned it up to about 80% and then I'm mixing the triangle wave signal with this mixer into the signal path so from there it goes together with the square wave into the WASP filter and through the VCA. So again that's just the square wave and now with some triangle wave mixed in. Alright, as you can hear, we get more bottom end like that. And this is a nice trick and you can of course vary the amounts of the mix and of course you can always play with the cutoff frequency and also the CV control of the cutoff frequency. One thing to note about the WASP filter is that with increasing resonance you lose bottom end. That's just how the filter is designed, similar for example to a 303 filter. So you want to leave the resonance at zero, ideally, for more bottom end. What I also like to do for bass sounds is run them through the wave folder. Okay, so here I've patched the WASP filter output into the wave folder and then the wave folder output goes through our VCA and into the recorder. Now the wave folder has a drive knob so it can also amplify an incoming signal and it can also distort the signal really nicely I think if you turn up the drive quite a lot. So with the standard setting it just sounds like we've heard it before but then when we turn up the drive knob we get some really nice distortion. And of course we can now use the shape and the shape CV controls to further warp that waveform. Alright, this was just a very quick demonstration of synthesizing a bass sound with the A modular synthesizer using the WASP filter and the wave folder. Thanks a lot for watching and come over to the A modular forums to discuss synthesis with us.